Hey, this is Rick. Um, like I said, we got this Blendtec 570 model, and I'm doing some videos on it. This is going to be the first one, which is a smoothie. We did a soup earlier, and we, and we had some stuff just laying around. We haven't really gone out and gotten a lot of the uh, produce that we need to start going into uh, you know, a healthier lifestyle, but we had some stuff left over. Now, what we do a lot of times is when your bananas go, we pop them right in the, in the freezer and just let them freeze right in the skins. And then if you want to use them for smoothies or pancakes or whatever, apparently you can make pancake batter with this too. But for right now, we're just going to wing this and see how it turns out. All right, so we're ready to start assembling this and putting it together. I'm going to put in like uh, two cups of water. And then we'll start laying in our ingredients. And we've got here... The bananas, they look lovely, don't they? Because they just came out of the freezer. I'm going to mic them a little bit to get them soft. And some apples. There's two apples that this will come up with. There's the rest of the apples. And then two oranges. And they say to just peel the outer skin of the orange because that's the part that's uh, really not palatable. It doesn't taste good. It, it'll turn the, the taste of your smoothie. But this wire part is supposed to be really good for you. You put that in, there's two of those. And then it calls for usually like two cups of something green and leafy. We just have romaine lettuce. Romaine's a green leafy lettuce, which is good for you too. Don't get iceberg. Iceberg lettuce is not good for you health-wise. It, it has no nutritional value to it. Uh, you can get like a bok choy, or you can get a cabbage, red cabbage, or whatever you want. So it's two cups of lettuce. And then we're going to put a little flaxseed on there. Flaxseed is supposed to be good for fat burning. This is ground up. And then we'll put in just about a tablespoon of pure vanilla. And then I have some ground cinnamon here. And just put some ground cinnamon on top of there. And this is two cups of ice. Put two cups of ice on top. You go ahead and put the jar cap on. You just push it down. It's the only one of its types that has this design where it's low profile, so you can stack your, your blender higher and get more uh, ingredients to blend up. And then on the key here, it says smoothie. And on some other ones, I think you can do like a, a medium to a low, if you don't have that key, there's cookbooks on blendtech.com that'll show you recipes and they'll show you how to convert your keys for your particular machine. But right now we have a smoothie key, so we'll put that. It's got some variable speeds in there, and it seems like it started out slow and then it ramped itself up. And if you look in here, you can see how smooth that is. I'll just shake it and you can tell. I'm going to fill up this glass here. Wow, pours out just like juice. Now what they say is by emulsifying your fruits and vegetables, it's more healthy for you because you're using the fiber of the skins and stuff like that. Now, your juice fanatics will, you know, will fight for juice because it's pure. But you're throwing away all that raw product with your fibers and stuff on the outside of the skin. This does everything. Alright, we'll take a taste of it. It's 
not bad. It could probably be tweaked a little bit for some other things, but not bad. We'll let my camera woman taste it and see what she thinks. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's uh, camera woman and wife approved. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what your recipes are. And uh, as the other ones come up, uh, we'll pop them on here. So please subscribe, and thanks for watching. Take it easy.